Electrical distribution has changed over the last few years. With the introduction of Part Tel 2 of the building regulations, and of course the 17th edition, this particularly affects sub and final distribution, where more and more RCD protection is required. We're here at a typical commercial installation, where Electrite's going to show some boards and the installation of them. Let's go in and have a look. We've designed the new TPM board to meet both practical needs and the wiring regulations. Today we're going to see a board, this twin meter board, fitted to some trunking. In this case, when we're bringing cables in through trunking, we've got to protect them from the sharp edges. So when you've taken the sheathing off, you've got the single insulated cables which need protecting. How would you uh, solve this problem? So normally we'd use a spacer using Paxilin to protect the cables. We think this is very time consuming. The contractor has to make sure that the solution complies with the regulations. Our new board overcomes this because we have a removable gland plate but also the end plate is designed to interface with the trunking with a smooth edge return to do away with the need for Paxilin. It also has an area which can be used as a template to mark on the trunking to cut it out. So Rhys, what do you think? I think it's a great idea. It saves on time and effort cutting the packs in out with the spacer and it avoids snagging the cables with its rolled edge. The 17th edition means there's more call for RCDs on installations. In commercial installations, you may need to use RCDs to reduce nuisance tripping. Now, the RCBs which Reese is installing at the moment are larger than MCBs, so it's even more important that ease of installation uh, with inside the board. So Reese, how are you finding the installation? Really easy. There's lots of rooms to bring your cables into. Gives you more room to strip them. And then you've got an in neutral there, so you've got lots of rooms to connect into. Part L2 of the building regulation states that 90% of the energy consumed uh, in a building must be monitored. This means that energy consumption and monitoring is vital as part of the whole of the distribution. To make that easier, Hager have provided uh, an easy fit position for the metering. Now the metering can be fitted on a DIN rail position, either next to the uh, incomer switch or as in this board, uh, mounted in two positions as a twin meter uh, factory fit solution. This means it uh, not only saves time but also saves cost on installation. And here's the finished board. As you can see, it meets all the needs of a modern installation. It also meets the needs of specifiers and consultants uh, to meet the necessary regulations. The board is available in a glazed version, which, as per the 17th edition, allows the ordinary person to see the position of the breaker so that he doesn't have to open up the door. Electrical installations have changed dramatically over the last few years. The introduction of 17th edition has changed the way we approach installations and there's more demand for energy saving solutions. Hagen now have designed a TPNN distribution board to meet these needs. If you'd like to know any more information, please go to our website where you can download a free technical guide. <laughs>